Hello everybody. Um, just wanted to do a brief update on some stuff. Um, don't know about what yet, but I always feel inclined to talk when I drive, so here I am. All right. Let's make this about me not wearing my seatbelt. God damn it. I am the worst driver slash maker of videos. At least when I combine the two together into one very uh, delicate ballet of uh, responsibility slash listenability. Um, yeah, it's pretty tragic. But I want to make this video about duality. It's something that people will say. They, uh, I think the overall perceived like nomenclature of duality represents like a <clears throat> opinion um, to some degree like the grand self people will say you know put uh, I want to look beyond duality I want to see beyond duality I want to end my duality I want to um, acknowledge my duality I don't want to see duality where there is duality you know, people throw around the word quite a bit unfortunately they don't always use it correctly. So, uh, there's so much depth. To, uh, I, I didn't ever use that word, or at least I, uh, I wasn't conscious of it because I didn't maybe perceive the, the full weight of it. Um, just like when you realize that the alphabet is composed of hi hieroglyphics that are just really stylized, it makes you start looking at words completely differently. Um, you see the, the the symbolism behind the word. You know, you, ha you have a uh, you know V for the valley, W for wave, um, and these things look like valleys and waves. So whenever you spell the word wave, you have a a W, which is the waters. You have the A, which is the the pyramid and I, the pyramid pyramidium, the top, uh, the highest point. Okay, the point of enlightenment, the sun, um, the male phallus, the obelisk, um, the light, springtime, life. All these things are metaphorically the same exact thing. The color white, the color red. Um, and then you have the V, the valley, the so below, V for vendetta, um, the vestibule, the very the absu the um hanged man the judas the odin secret knowledge the high priestess um the night the primordial the waters the water in the earth as opposed to the fire in the air um the blue the the feminine chalice the the triangle pointing down into the valley um, the bottom of the of the the vehicle of the soul, um, the cauldron, the you, the bowl, the horns of the bull, the crescent, the crescent that is underneath, um, not like this, but the boat of Isis, um, or the boat of Osiris, that carries them across the sky. Um, set though, sunset to the day. So you have wave, the, the word wave, W, waters, the as above, the so below, and the V, and then the E, which I think it means a whenever I see it, I think of someone hugging someone else seen from above with their head down. 
So you see the arms coming out as the top and bottom of the capital E. And then you see the small line in the center, which is the head kneeling over the child. So I think of everyone with the E. So, I mean, right there, you have a word and it means so much. It means oscillating between peaks. It means uh, propagating the wave. It means frequency, vibration, color, sound, the words we speak, everything that we are is just the wave propagating itself through multiple forms of energy. First, the densely compacted high vibrational energy of the protoatom that exploded in a big bang and created the first oscillation that solidified back into matter again. And, and so we, we are energy sped up until it became light and then slowed down until it became flesh. And we are doomed to repeat the process until we choose one or the other. Choose the flesh and you'll die. Choose the light and you will perpetuate the wave into a higher band, a, a higher resonant field, one which waves from this dimension only influence and don't propagate from. So be the light you see, but don't have it from the top of the pyramid or the bottom of the valley but come out from the midst of the valley where the hills start to grow into mountains. Be the child that you were. Be hopeful, be innocent, be wide-eyed and imaginative. Think pure thoughts, because your thoughts are not your own. Other people share them with you whenever they feel your feelings that you're projecting onto the world. Um, other entities share these feelings with you and maybe learn from you. Your thoughts are not your own, they're not private, you just think they are, and because of that you've created some bad thoughts. So rectify your thoughts, keep hope and love and general compassion for your fellow man in your heart, and the world will multiply through your heart chakra, not your pineal gland and not your root chakra. Send the love that is God, which is balanced and harmony with the world around you, out into the world until it radiates the entire world. Um, duality is something that we need to come above because we've already experienced every side of it so many times and every possible permeation, every possible Dalmatian of white and black, every spot we've had, every seed we've sown. Let's harvest. Let's make this world a better place for the generations to come so that they'll never remember the horrors of war and money and poor and rich and having too much and having too little. But make people happy with the world that they live in where they can actually express their emotions in a way that they love doing as opposed to having to have a job where they have to go survive. I'm so happy today because people have been able to reach out to me in a way that was like financially beneficial to me, taking in this green fiat money, okay? But th through that fake ass paper I'm able to buy real tangible things that I, I need them for. I mean, like, God, like, toilet paper, man. Like, that's how fucking poor I am. I see people like Tyler from Secure Team 10 with a motorcycle and health insurance and uh, a house. <laughs> uh, I'm like, well, he's just making videos, but they're, they're, he doesn't have nearly as much knowledge as... I get so fucking mortal about things, and I go, you know what, just let this be your catharsis. This is what I always intended to be, and I'm not good at making videos anyways, but someone actually threw me some money, and um, I, I, man, I appreciate it so much, and I have no idea if you want to remain anonymous, so I'm not going to say anything about that, but Lord God, it helped right now a lot. So th thank everybody. <laughs> thank everybody. Everybody is part of this beautiful universe that is this manifesting life into you at this very second. You are alive right now in this <gasps> beautiful moment. You know, take that shit in, breathe in that prana, and just breathe it out to everybody else. I love you all. You're my catharsis, my release, my inhibitions destroyed, and then my hopes for humanity lifted back up put that shit in the world, man. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Thank you.